Flicko. Oh, Mark. Mark said, hi, Kenny. Can you explain your guitar chain? Thank you. Okay. My guitar chain is different every single time that I play guitar. It changes all the time. When I record guitars, I'm thinking about what guitar, what's available, and, and what's working in the studio, uh, what I'm going for in the song. Do I want to make this fast and just go DI and use some neural DSP plugins or something and get it over with? Do I want to record through an amp? Do I want to record a couple pedals but still DI? Do I want to record a couple pedals before an amp? Do I want to use two mics on the amp and balance them? Do I want to just use one? Do I want to use an RE10? Do I want to use an SM57? Do I want to use a Royer 121? Do I want to use a Royer pair? You know, th there's so many things that cross your mind every day. Like when it comes to the guitar chain, I have a lot of go-tos, but lately I'm not using guitar rig or neural DSP or any of the amp simulators. I'm either recording a real amp in real life, or I'm going through a preamp or some kind of old mixer before it hits the computer and then I'm just EQing it and fucking with it and like there's pe there's pedal boards all around the room. There's a pedal board over there obviously that goes to all the keyboards, but I can plug my guitar stuff right into that. So that pedal board goes for all the keyboards. So all the keyboards go through that. The amp I've been recording the most. This is 1965 pre-CBS Blackface. I think it might be 64. Blackface Vibro Champ. So there's no reverb on it, but it does have that Fender vibrato. And yeah, it just sounds amazing. So it's really, really small. Not a lot of watts, not a lot of power, but even at a really low volume, just sounds so good. There's a space echo on top of there. Over here on top of uh, on top of the EX2. I use these both a lot with guitars. That's a tube tape echo by Full Tone. And that's a Benson Echo Rec. That's a reverb I've showed on here before, a Sansui reverb. But yeah, this is my most recorded guitar amp. There's a PV Decade down there also, which for like distorted tones, I use the PV. It sounds really good. This is just a pedal board that I always have on the floor so I can quickly plug in a bunch of pedals and just get guitar stuff going really fast. So on here right now, Strymon Sunset. There's a Mini Wah. There's a MXR Univibe, which this is such a sleeper pedal. Like, Univibe is, is a very unique sound, which just sounds so fucking cool. The Chase Bliss Habit for just getting weird, but it's also just really fun. End up doing shit every time with this that I like never would have thought of. I meant then this old Qtron. This on bass is just about the best. And you don't even need to use like the wah, 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 auto wah. Because this, if you know what a Qtron sounds like, it's like that really funky wah kind of sound. I use it way less drastic than that but sounds amazing on bass my homie nick put me onto this yeah like there's just there's pedals all over the place there's generation loss the new one best pedal ever i saw aj hall use this on drums it sounded amazing down here i have swollen pickle this is really good di i like going into this and into the the preamp without any kind of amp or anything it sounds amazing this is a custom dots pedal that I made with Zvex. Uh, Daniel Johnston's family gave me the okay to use the Daniel Johnston um, figure on here. So this is actually official one of one dots Daniel Johnston collab. Okay, these are this is these are some sauce right here. Hold on, these are called Fjord Fuzz pedals. Very small, small company. If you know a group called Unknown Mortal Orchestra, they are known to use these. But these are f crazy pedals. They all do fuzz and variations of fuzz and sometimes octaves and envelopes and shit. But these are f crazy. That pedal board down there has a lot of heat on it. There's a blooper. There's a Strymon Flint. There's a Strymon Al Capistan. There's a... Strymon Deco, there's a Bit Commander, Earthquaker, really good. Oh, Holy Grail. This is an amazing reverb. I actually kind of need this. MXR Dyna Comp. It's a little compressor pedal. Very, 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 very slept on. These are boss pedals that I've had since I was about 
12 or 13 years old. Whose glasses are these? Whoa, somebody left some Gucci's. Whoa. Remember what I was saying about that Scott Storch shit? I take it back. Sessions are $5,000 a piece from today on. I do not look like Saucy Santana, bro. This has been my pedal board for the day. Right down here. I've been using a Chase Bliss Habit. Uh, an Electro Harmonics Nano Reverb. Because you guys reminded me about it the other day. I've been using the Chase Bliss Generation Loss. I'm using a mini Dunlop Wah. You can't see it because it's black on black with the pedal board. And then at the end of the pedal, uh, the end of the board is the MXR Univibe. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.